Today I'm going to show you guys how to design this Valentine's Day party flyer with Corel Draw 2020. So without any further ado, let's go into the video. Hello you guys, what is going on? Welcome and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn graphic design and how to make creative designs, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you get notified when I upload another video like this one. Yes, Valentine's Day is fast approaching and I guess it's always 14 February. Yeah, 14 February is the date. For me, I don't know what Valentine's Day is all about. So I will appreciate so much if you tell me down the comments what Valentine's Day is all about and I'll give you a thumbs up. So without wasting much time, let's go to Corel Draw and do what we have to do. These are the resources for this tutorial and as I've always done, I'm going to link them down in the description so you can check it out, do your own design and send it to me on Instagram. So I'm going to open up my Corel Draw and click on new document and this dialog box will pop up like this and you choose RGB because I'll be working with RGB basically and I'll choose my size to A5 because the flyer is going to be A5 flyer and portrait orientation. You can see it here. It's actually portrait. You can set your units to inches. Let me leave it at inches. Yeah. And I think that it's okay. You can simply click OK and it opens up the Corel Draw like this. I don't know why it comes up as landscape. So I'm going to click on portrait to make it portrait. Actually, I need portrait flyer. Okay. Then next up, I'm going to double click on my rectangle to, to create this A5 shape. You can see the A5 shape here. Press P to return back to the page. And give it a white temporal color and right click here to take off the outline. You can see how it looks like. So this is how... We begin our design next thing i'm going to do is to give my shape a color and i'll be working with red color as we all know valentine's color is actually red and white but for this design i'm working with red color and i'm going to fill this background with black so i'm going to click on interactive fill tool and fill it with black so you click on black and you get this gradient fill here then i'm going to click on elliptical fountain feel and it has this round feel like this but i don't want the black to be inside i want the black to be outside and the red inside so i'm going to click on reverse feel and you have this effect like this so you can enlarge your black so the black fades away from the background this is actually how our background color will look like so i'm going to bring in my background which i've downloaded and it's actually here i'm going to bring it into my corel draw enlarge it a little so you click on the background and you get this selection you click again on the background so you get this curves you hold here and drag press control on your keyboard so you rotate 90 degrees correct and that's it so you right click on the background and drag to the shape and you leave then you have these options you click on power clip inside to power clip but if you can't follow that pattern then i will do ctrl z and right click on the picture itself and you see power clip inside you click and click on the shape then the background comes into the shape press alternate on your keyboard and click on the background again and enlarge it like this press shift on your keyboard while doing this so you can enlarge all the sides of this background and leave that's very perfect then you click on transparency tool while you are still selecting the background inside the shape you click on transparency tool and click on uniform transparency but i think i should use uh fountain transparency and you click on that and that's very perfect then you can adjust your view this way and adjust again so this is okay and next up i'm going to bring in my picture but before then i have to treat this picture with photoshop i guess this is my first video i am using two software to achieve one design so i'm going to pick this picture to my photoshop and open it up here basically i want to make some effects on this picture before taking it to my flyer like i've always said i use photoshop to add effects to my designs while corel draw to make the designs itself so i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate the picture into two layers as you can see here and next thing i'm going to do i'm going to click on image click on adjustment and click on hue or saturation you click and you have this dialog box you hold your saturation and bring it way down to minus 100 and you click on okay 
that's just what i needed from this and next thing i'm going to do is to create a new layer by clicking here to get a new layer like this click on your brush tool and make sure your foreground color is at red here that's it bring it down here and make sure your foreground color is at red you click on ok and that's just what i needed and if your cursor is like this i don't really like using my brush when my cursor is like this so i'm going to make sure i deactivate my cap lock so i have this type of brush so you can enlarge the brush like this and as you're enlarging the brush you bring it way down to where you have the lip i basically want to paint on the lip because i need the lip to be red and the fingernails will be red that's just what i want you can brush here like this and brush all the lip like this okay you keep brushing till you are done with the lip and that's very perfect Press your space bar to activate the hand tool, then you move it down this way. And you can zoom in a little so you see what you are doing. Paint on the nail like this. And the same thing here. Perfect. Do the same thing here again. And you can as well paint on this other nail. But I'm not sure that particular nail will feature on the design, but just have to do some rough stuff for trial and error okay and i guess i'm going to paint this way also okay 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 just kind of rough painting there it's beginning to look rough so basically this is the type of painting you have to do to achieve this particular design and guess what we'll be doing next we have to change the blending mode to overlay and i'm going to click here on the blending mode and click on overlay and this is exactly the effect we expected from the design you can see how it blends with that picture very well and that's very perfect you can adjust the opacity and i believe that's very perfect so this is exactly what i needed from the design next up i'm going to save my picture and change this to jpeg and save uh, it wants to replace so I'm going to give it a new name by adding one to the name so I save it this way perfect then I'm going to bring in my edited picture to my design which I have already arranged the background already and power clip inside right click on the picture and click on power clip inside click on the shape to power clip the picture press alternate to select this picture like this and enlarge it press shift while enlarging the picture like this then you can take this up a little i said it okay perfect here next thing you want to do is click on effects click on adjust and click on gamma and it will darken my picture just as you can see and if your my gamma is already activated actually but if yours is not activated make sure your gamma is at 0.6 percent then you click on okay and this is very perfect for me and next thing i'm going to do is to transparent the down part of this picture which i'm going to do right now click on your transparency tool and click on fountain transparency remember all this editing i'm editing objects inside my power clip and what enables me to select objects inside my power clip is by pressing alternate on my keyboard and clicking on the object i want to select and this helps me to edit pictures or any element inside my power clip without going inside the power clip so i'm going to hold on the black remember as i've always said black height and white reveal so white reveals this part of the picture and black height this part of the picture you can take the white up a little and that's very okay click on your pick tool and let's see how the background looks like okay this is a background which we want to work with perfect next thing i'm going to do is to copy all my text which I've already typed with my Microsoft Word and bring it to Corel Draw and using your text to paste this text here. Maintain font and formatting. Okay. So I'm going to work with the first text, which is Valentine's Day Party. Press Ctrl X on your keyboard to cut this out and press Ctrl V to paste. And you can as well break this text like this. Uh, okay. And press ctrl k on your keyboard to break the text and i'm going to select all and give it this typeface intro 
inline intro inline that's actually the typeface i'll be working with intro inline and that's very perfect if you observe very well the apostrophe is not on this particular typeface that's because the apostrophe character is not part of this typeface so i'm going to select the apostrophe and give it another typeface because i really need the apostrophe to be there i can leave it at um, helvetica okay perfect and that gives me the typeface using your shape to adjust the tracking of this text like this and that's okay the text should not be too tight you can allow it this way and next thing i'm going to do is to adjust this enlarge the valentines and bring it up to this level and i think that's perfect press shift on your keyboard and reduce the size a little press shift and select your shape and press c to centralize and next up click on d and enlarge it this way press ctrl k to break the text and click on d and rotate it this way perfect and you can bring your a and enlarge press shift on your keyboard and then enlarge this a like this and bring y closer and rotate y this way and bring it closer again this is perfect then you can as well enlarge d again and take it close Press Ctrl G to group all these D A Y and press Shift on your keyboard. Select the shape and press C to centralize D as well. You can reduce Valentine's a little so it's not too large and that's perfect. Click on Party and enlarge. Also bring it down here. Click on your shape tool and adjust the tracking as well. Perfect. Then bring it close to D press shift and select the shape and press c so i've been able to centralize everything here next up i'm going to power clip my gold background on this text before adding every other effect which i have to do so i'm going to open up my folder and bring in this gold background which i've made already and this background will be going inside the shape but before then i have to treat this background to what i really want if i place this background inside the text it's going to be very dark so i'm going to click on effect adjust tone curve and i'm going to adjust the tone of this shape like this okay it's already set you can just click and drag up here and make this one to come down a little so you have that particular tone on the background and click ok now one feature about corel draw 2020 is that once you add a tone curve on a particular element once you come back to use the tone curve it uses the first tone curve you've already activated and i've already activated this tone curve that's why it applies to my background automatically so that's one particular feature i love about corel draw 2020 if you are not using corel draw 2020 make sure you get corel draw 2020 for your own use thank you very much so let's go back to our design click and drag this background and right click and leave all I'm going to do is to duplicate this background into three places. Click and drag again and right click before you leave. So you have three different backgrounds. And I'm doing this just for the sake of beginners because not everyone may understand what I'm actually doing now. So I'm going to pick the first one, right click and click on power clip inside and click on Valentine's. Then it goes inside Valentine's. Then I'm going to adjust the gold color because I don't want that particular part of the background to show on the Valentine. So I'll press alternate on my keyboard and click on Valentine's to select the background inside. Then drag it upwards till it reveals this part of the gold. That is perfect. Then click on the second one, right click and click on power clip inside and click here. Perfect. Press alternate again and select the background inside the power clip and take it upwards. You can adjust it and scale it this way so it enlarge and fill the whole background actually it's the gold part of the background i'm interested in click on the third background right click and click on power clip inside and click on party then it fits into party press alternate on your keyboard and select the background then take it upwards a little and this is very perfect so this is actually what i've been able to do with my design next up i'm going to duplicate party into three places first i'm going to click and drag press control on your keyboard while doing this or press shift on your keyboard rather while doing this and right click before you leave so you have 
two party remember i'm shifting it down not up not to the side or any other place i'm bringing it down then you do the same again press shift on your keyboard click and drag press shift while doing this and bring it down a little right click before you leave so i have three duplicates of this party and i'm going to send the top one to the back by pressing control page down and it goes to the back click on the second one and press control page down again to send it to the back why I'm doing this is because I want the party to occur in three layers. Then I'm going to add shadows to each layer of the party to get a particular effect. Let's see how it looks like. Click here to activate the shadow tool and press control or press shift on your keyboard while doing this. Click on the face layer and drag down this way so the shadow comes down like this. You see how the shadow looks like. Adjust the transparency of the shadow and adjust the feathers to 12 12 is perfect and 81 percent transparency and next thing i'm going to do is to activate my second layer of the party if you can't activate this press alternate on your keyboard and select till you get the second layer you can see i have been able to select my second layer click on the job shadow tool but this time you click here to copy shadow properties and you click on the face shadow which you have created click here to activate the second shadow and you see the kind of effect the party has then i'm going to click on the third duplicate of this party if you can't select press alternate on your keyboard and click to select the third layer you can see i've been able to select the last layer of the party click on job shadow to and click on copy shadow properties and select bring the uh shad bring the cursor to the shadow we've created before click and it activates on the last part so that is exactly the effect i actually wanted then i'm going to add this same shadow to valentine's day so you click on day and click on on group all um i want to apply this shadow to the alphabet one after the other so you click on the job shadow to click on copy shadow properties and click on the first shadow we have created before so this is it click on a and click on drop shadow to then click on copy shadow properties again and click here perfect click on y and do the same as well now why i'm doing this differently actually i would have select all and give it different shadow but actually i want this text to overlap itself so this is what i actually want overlap itself this way so d control page up to bring d to the top and bring y closer and y overlaps a this is the kind of effect i needed click on valentine's and click on drop shadow to click on copy shadow properties and click on the shadow under d to activate the shadow on valentine's that is perfect select all and press ctrl g press shift on your keyboard select the shape and press c to centralize this is perfect you can see how our design is looking like if you are enjoying this video don't forget to leave a like on this video and leave a comment down in the comments and make sure you share this video to other graphic designers who may find this video helpful thank you so next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the rose flower uh, flower represents love so i'm going to bring it to my design and this is one of the best resource i've ever downloaded from freepick.com it's actually helpful so i'm going to reduce this and bring it down here reduce again so basically i have the png format of this resource so i'm going to use my pick tool to separate the particular flower i want to use on this design so i'm going to click on my pick tool click here and select the sorry the pen tool yeah then select this particular flower the tallest flower here select all just make sure you follow my steps and select all here and bring your pen tool to join where you started on this note click okay that's perfect click on your pick tool press shift on your keyboard and select the flower and you click on intersect now this is what i've got delete this shape off and click and drag i've been able to separate this particular flower from every other flower here then you can convert it to bitmap rgb color okay perfect and next thing i'm going to copy out here is this particular uh leaf select all with your pen to press shift and select the picture itself and intersect perfect 
delete the shape off and take this off i've been able to detach that as well and i'm going to detach this also using the pen tool you select just this flower you can follow my movement to detach this and you click here then press shift and select this resource and click on intersect perfect delete of this shape and take this out then you can convert it to rgb color perfect then delete this off these are the three flowers i'll be using on this design and next thing i'm going to do i'm going to copy out this flower as well i would like to use this part of this leaf to make uh, something very nice here okay it seems my pen tool is too large but just have to follow these steps like this and select okay actually i just want to pick just this leaf out here okay and i'm going to cut it off here then join it here perfect press shift and select the flower intersect as well delete all of this and bring this out so i've been able to get only this leaf so i'll be using this leaf for my design as well so let's continue from where we stopped basically what i'll be doing with these flowers is to spray them around my design so i'm going to pick the longest one like this click and rotate press control while rotating this so you get the accurate rotation then you leave then you can enlarge click again to activate this selection and enlarge this way bring it down here and place it in between day and party perfect um, this is nice click and drag press control while doing this and right click before you leave to duplicate the flower then you click on mirror horizontally and mirror vertically then this is what we have got you bring it closer so you can join them together here you can zoom in so you see how you join them perfectly well that's okay then you zoom out so this is exactly what i needed select the both flowers and press ctrl g to group them then you try centralizing the flower like this that is perfect next up i'm going to bring this other flower here and enlarge it this way then you're going to press ctrl page down to send it to the back ctrl page up sorry uh click on this and on group all because i want to overlap this stuff remember we group the valentine's day party but I'm going to ungroup just as I've been able to ungroup all like this. Then click here, control page down. Okay, you can see how it overlaps. The D goes on top of the flower while the flower goes on top of Valentine's. This is how it looks like when you ungroup every object. That's it. And I'm going to bring this down here. Perfect. And click and drag, right click before you leave to duplicate it. And you can enlarge it here perfect then you bring this here and enlarge this you can click on mirror horizontal and mirror vertically and mirror vertically like this and bring it down here this is perfect now i'm going to add a special effect on this click on effect blur and motion blur um so this is the effect i've got i'm, I'm going to adjust the blur again because i want the motion blur to be very visible okay that's exactly what i needed click and drag to duplicate this and click on mirror horizontally so you bring it down here you can press ctrl page down to send it to the back of the face layer of this party and perfect bring it down here again duplicate and mirror horizontally and bring it to this other side bring it closer perfect um i think i need one more green flower around here to make everything balance reduce it little click on mirror vertically and bring it up here that is okay uh do i still need one more flower here i think okay mirror horizontally and bring one more green flower here as well and mirror horizontally that's okay very very perfect so this is the effect i've got on my flyer design i guess you love this 
let me know down in the comments if you love this arrangement of the flyer it's perfect next thing i'm going to do is to copy the remaining elements of the design and bring it down here okay select all here press ctrl x activate your text tool and press ctrl v then give this typeface hell vertical okay this is it press ctrl k to break this text and make sure this is bold and you give it white color then enlarge it and make sure it's around that uh 18 points bring it here press shift on your keyboard and select your shape and press c to centralize while you bring this close to this and give it white and make sure this is about uh, 12 points down here then select 8 pm and give it yellow then make it bold and select this and make it yellow as well press shift and select this and press c okay perfect and next thing i'm going to do is to copy out this ticket press ctrl x and press here and make this ticket bold and the typeface i'll be using here is helvetica perfect select ticket and make it bold then give it 12 points good and align your text to the right and bring it here give it white i love this then you can create a shape using your rectangle tool and select ticket like this and give it yellow right click here to take off the outline press ctrl page down to send this to the back but before then i have to select the ticket and give it a black color so it will be visible on the white background but i'm going to give this white background yellow color like this that's okay and select note uh this is beginning to look funny but actually this flyer was not done for any client it's actually a self it's actually a self-inspired design just to make this tutorial a reality all i wanted to do is to get the idea that's just it and that's all what i want make this bold i believe you guys know how to do this already click and drag right click before you leave then press ctrl page down to send it to the back and make sure this is black okay give it white here sorry white and make this black okay then i'm going to use my pen tool and draw a line like this perfect and one point rightly to give it white or i guess yellow will be perfect and you bring this here give it a vertical as well and give it white press shift and select this shape and press c so this makes up the whole stuff let me zoom out this so you see how our design looks like so this is the final look of our design thank you very much for watching this video and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet kindly subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell so you get notified when we upload another video thank you very much for watching this video and happy valentine's day in advance see you next time